This is a Chucky Beat production. Up, shit up. and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GT Sport Drift setup. This time round it's another requested one and it's actually come down from one of the guys that's over on the Beasted Discord server, someone that gets involved a lot with the online lobbies and that's Erpula. He's asked if I could put together a build for the Group 3 Mustang and uh, as always of course I can, I'm always happy to help out. Just like any of the other Mustangs in the game this is exceptional for drifting but being a Group 3 car you do have to factor in the fact that it has some downforce. So on some of the faster corners, you are going to struggle a little bit more than you would with, say, the um, Group 3 road car, because that downforce is sort of limiting the skid a little bit. That being said, though, for the most part, I had no problems with this car whatsoever. And just like the road car version of this, it loves going super sideways. You can take it as slow or as fast as you want, and it is just a great, great build. As always, the setup I've come up with here, just use as a base. Now, everyone does have a different style, so just adapt it to suit yourself. But what I'm giving you here should be a very good place to start, and it's the setup I'm using and I've had no issues with. So, this one's pretty easy to be honest, and you're not going to need to spend any mileage points whatsoever. Just leave it on level 1 there, take it all the way to 108%, which will leave you 592 brake horsepower. With the weight reduction again, just leave that where it is, but take it all the way down to the bottom of what's available, so 95%, and that will leave you 1,235 kilograms. Traction control is set to zero. I've gone for comfort hard tires, both front and rear there. I've set the brake balance to minus three. Um, I've got the ride height on the front at 55, which is all the way at the bottom, and 68 on the rear, which is just slightly above the bottom there. Uh, natural frequency, I've gone for three on the front and 2.8 on the back. Uh, Anti-roll bar, you've got 7 on the front and 5 on the rear. I haven't actually touched the compression or the rebound here, so just leave those at 55, 55 and 85, 85. Camber angle on the front is set to 3 and on the back is set to 1. I've got a toe angle set out to 0.3 on the front and in 0.3 on the back. Downforce, um, with this one like I mentioned earlier, this is something you really want to try and get rid of as much as possible. So with that in mind, I've taken the front all the way down to the bottom there at 300 and the rear to 700. Um, the differential here, I've just left that as it is, so 20, 40 and 30. And with the transmission, just set it to fully customised and then all I've done is set the max speed to 162. Everything else I've left exactly the same and like I say, that should be a good starting point for you. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you use the comment section to let me know your thoughts on this build and also to let me know if there's any builds you'd like to see me doing in the future. Like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm going to leave you with a load of footage of me messing around with the car and I'll see you all on the next one.
Production. 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 Production.